How are we doing that water? Are we good, yeah? yeah? I'm not. Right, I'm going to do some new material tonight for you. Is that okay, yeah? yeah. It could go two ways, hopefully. You'll either love it or you'll see it as a cry for help. Ideally, I'd like it to be both where you go, you know what, that sickly man from Crosby was quite funny, but he needs some professional medical help sooner away. <laughs> Look at me, I'm crazy. I've got a black polo shirt with flamingos on it. They found Stan's body in an industrial unit just outside Wigan with loads of cheap Polish pornography and four cans of Lidl's own beer. He only drank two. Anyway, Theresa May's on her way out. Yes, and I don't just mean politically, I mean that she's dying. Honestly, she looks fucking disgusting. Have you seen her? She looks like a fucking haunted pelican. And I know what's killing Theresa May. I know what's fucking doing it. It's the magic money tree. Guys, bear with me on this one. It's a real fucking tree. And I don't just mean some fucking tree in the Cayman Islands like John McDonald was alluding to. It's a real fucking tree that they found in a garden centre during the last general election. And they brought Theresa May before the tree. And she went, oh, magic money tree. Would you please help me? And to her surprise, the tree spoke back. It went, all right. I am the magic money tree. And I command you to give one billion points <laughs> to the DUP. <laughs> she gets it. She fucking knows it. Have you seen me before? Good, because I'm shit, right? And from then on, the tree became her most principled advisor. She even took it to Brexit negotiations. That's why it went so shit. They're there trying to carve out a deal, and the tree's going, fuck this, Teresa. Fuck these frog-eating cunts. Fuck this. Hit them back with a fact of your own. The earth is flat. Dinosaurs aren't real. And the night before a party conference, she went, oh, magic money tree, I don't know what to do. My party's so divided. I need to be strong and stable. What can I do? And the tree went, do you like music sensation, Aber? And Teresa they, is there dancing away like that going. And the tree is going, aye, that's it. You can dance. And she's going, ah, ah. You can fucking jive. You're having the time of your fucking life. You are the dancing queen. And I own you, bitch. <laughs> And once Theresa May's toppled and there's nowhere for her to go and her husband's fucked off to join a paedophile ring, <laughs> she'll be there on the streets and the tree will turn to her and go, hey, that's what you get for being such a cunt. <laughs> Horrible bitch. Right. They say that Brexit is a product of the rivalry between David Cameron and Boris Johnson. I don't believe that for one minute. I believe that it's actually a love story between the two. I genuinely do. A love story which will end with them both fucking a dead pig on the remains of the Nissan plant in Sunderland. And Jacob Rees-Mogg will be there going, Mia culpa! Grabbing the tits of his nanny. <laughs> Jacob Rees-Mogg, man. Another fucking haunted ghoul. Right. Disgusting. Speaks Latin. Right. Who spoke Latin? The Romans. What did posh Romans do for entertainment? Watch poor Romans being brutally murdered. If Jacob Rees-Mogg had his way, Saturday Night TV would be a man from Hull being eaten alive by a leopard. And it'd be much better than The Voice. <laughs> the Brexit man. Are you enjoying the Brexit, young man? No? You don't have a clue? Well, you won't have a clue for this next two minutes. Right. The, the Brexit. That's what I call it. It's proper title. Because it's a fucking film, The Brexit. See, right now, it's like a shit rom-com or low-budget horror movie. But I'm hoping that it's going to turn into a snuff film really soon. And I want to see Boris Johnson and Theresa May choke each other out till they die and it'll be the guiltiest wank I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> and whether you voted leave or remain, I've got some news for you. The Brexit is not going to happen. Do you know why? Because London voted remain. Do you think London are going to listen to people from fucking Wigan? <laughs> no fucking way. They're just going to go, no, cancel it. We are the greatest city in the world. And Stoke's going to go, but the fucking will of the people. And they're just going to go, will of the people, here's the will of London. And they'll just fucking demolish Stoke and turn it into a pret a manger <laughs> uh, And then they're going to come up north, the London Empire, it's going to be called. And they're going to go to Manchester and go, you've done all right, there's a few nice buildings, you're quite rich. You're now called London of the North. <laughs> 
And then they're going to crawl across the pool and go, oh, it's lovely here. Lots of nice architecture and buildings. Oh, and there's a lovely beach too. We'll call this London by the fucking sea. <laughs> the only problem with it is the fucking Scousers. So what they're going to do is, is line us up on Crosby Beach and just fucking drive us into the waves like that. Get off, lads! Go in! Go! Go! Anyway, that's all I've got time for. Thank you very much, London by the Sea. Good night and God bless.